Everybody, this is Dr. A, and in this video, we are going to be briefly discussing uh, different types of structural elements and systems as they pertain to our interest of structural analysis. So let's get started with what is the basic definition of a structure. So a structure is a system of connected parts that supports externally applied loads, okay? Now, what that means is we have a system of connected parts that are uh, put together in order to support um, forces, bending moments, torques, any, anything that's applying uh, a, a loading effect on that system, okay? So that's what a structure is. Now, that brings us to the next question and the next term we're interested in. What is structural analysis? So let's define it as the following. Structural analysis uses principles of mathematics, physics, statics, and mechanics of materials. to determine how externally, spell that correctly, externally applied loads transmit through a structure. I'm really having trouble spelling right now. And deform it. Okay, so in structural analysis, what we do is we apply some ideas from uh, these other subject matters like, like math, physics, statics, and mechamaterials to determine how externally applied loads will cause an effect on a structure. And so we look at internal load development. We look at uh, deformations of a structure, so translations and rotations, okay? So that's structural analysis summarized uh, in a nutshell, okay? Now, um, we need to understand what are common types of structural elements. So if you notice the title of, of this video here is Structural Elements and Systems. What are these things? What are structural elements and what are structural systems? Well, let's list out some common structural elements, okay? So we're going to list these out. Common structural elements. Now, you've probably heard of um, a lot of these terms in some previous uh, classes or previous settings, okay? So let's go through them. Common structural elements. Um, one common structural element is a rod or a bar, okay? And these bars or rods primarily support axial... tensile loads, okay? Another common structural element is a column, okay? Columns primarily support axial compressive loads, all right? Uh, so axial compressive forces, all right?
Uh, we also have a common structural element called a strut, okay? A strut. Struts also um, primarily support axial compressive loads. So we're going to say similar to columns, but are oriented diagonally. Okay, and then we'll put a little note in different in a different color here. A column is uh, usually vertical. Okay, so a column is usually a, a vertical member that's primarily uh, supporting axial compressive loads. Uh, but a strut, um, it's a strut is still a compression member, um, but it's typically um, oriented diagonally. Okay, some other non-vertical orientation. All right, what about a beam? Beams are common structural elements, okay? A beam is uh, a member that primarily supports um, internal bending moments, okay? We also call beams a flexure member okay we call a beam a flexure member because when it's loaded and it's supporting an internal bending moment it tends to flex or bend so in in structural engineering we use the term flex and bend kind of interchangeably now something interesting about beams beams also we'll put dot 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 also support internal shear forces, okay? Now, we have another common structural element called a beam column, okay? Beam columns are exactly what they sound like. They're typically single members, but they support both axial compressive loads and bending, internal bending moments, okay? So we're gonna put a note here. We're gonna say support both axial compressive forces and bending moments. So that's called a beam column. And then uh, we also have a common um, structural element called a shaft. When we say a shaft, these primarily support torque moments, okay? So um, so generally a shaft, its cross-section tends to be twisted, okay? So in structural engineering, we see shaft behavior sometimes, uh, but mechanical engineers um, deal a lot more with torque-loaded shafts uh, compared to structural civil engineers. So these are all called structural elements, okay? Common structural elements. We also have um, what we would call... Uh, structural systems, all right? So we're going to make this next category called common structural systems, okay? Now, what's the difference between a structural element and a structural system? Well, a structural element is usually um, a single member. It's, it's like a single beam or a single column, for example. That's an element. Um, when we talk about structural systems, these are combinations or attachments of different elements that are connected by bolts or welds. Okay, so we'll make a note here. We're going to say um, structural systems are formed by several structural elements connected together by bolts and welds.
okay? So these are common structural systems. So what are some common structural systems that you may have heard of before? Well, one of them is called a truss, okay? A truss is a structural system. So these are uh, pin-connected, axially-loaded bars, Okay, so whenever you have a, um, a system of pin connected axially loaded bars uh, where the applied loads are transmitted directly to those pins or joints, that's what we would call a truss. Okay, so trusses have uh, applied loads are directed at the joints, okay? So for example, a plane truss may have the geometry that looks something like this, and each of these little dots here represents a pin connection, okay? I, this is just an example of a truss here, okay? And then of course you have some external supports here, and the applied loads are applied directly at the joints, okay? Uh, or they could be transmitted directly to the joints. So let's give these some names, maybe P1, P2, P3. And this is just a visual representation, okay? So that's a truss structural system, okay? What's another kind of structural system you may have heard of before? Well, how about a frame, okay? How about a frame? A frame is a flexural system composed of connected beams and columns supporting loading along member lengths, okay? So when you have a frame, for example, I'll, I'll draw an example of a portal frame. When you have a frame here, you could have a frame that looks kind of like this, and the loading is, uh, the loading could be applied at a joint, uh, but loading could also be applied along a member's length, okay? So you could have a P2, a P3, something like that. So notice the loading, instead of the loading only being applied to joints, you have loading applied along member lengths. In addition to that, frame systems um, may also have rigid connections, okay? So frame systems may have rigid connections, okay? So when we say a rigid connection, we mean that two members are connected together so rigidly that a bending moment can be transferred from one of those members to the other. And sometimes we symbolize that by sh doing a dark corner shade uh, on the connect on the connected members like that. Now, we don't always show that. I mean, you could... You know, if I zoom in on that corner, you could show it like this, or you can show a rigid connection like this. So um, it just depends on who drew that system. But um, these two symbols, whether you have like a right, uh, a right angle or, or just an angle with no um, dark shading, or you have the corner shaded like that, uh, both of those are examples of rigid connections. And this is different from what? This is dot, 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 not the same as this kind of connection. If you have uh, a, a darkened in circle or you have a hollow circle here, this type of connection are uh, internal hinge or pin connections, okay? Internal hinge or pin connections.
So make sure you remember from maybe your previous knowledge that if you have a circle, whether it's a solid circle or an open circle, this represents an internal hinge or pin. Um, and if you have no, no shading at all, or you have a dark, um, like triangular shade, that is a rigid connection, um, that does not allow rotation. So let's make a note here. Um, no rotation at connection and then moments are transferred. And then here, when you have an internal uh, hinge or pin, here, rotation allowed at connection and no moments transferred. All right, so that could, should be a little bit of a review for you. Um, we also have cable systems, so we're, we're moving on, uh, more structural systems. We have cables, all right? So um, cables are pure tension systems connected by a pulley system, okay? Connected by a pulley or uh, several pulleys, okay? Um, and then we also have arches, okay? An arch system. An arch system are, uh, these are pure compression systems. Okay. So um, this is a quick summary again of, of uh, structural elements and systems. Um, and so that pretty much concludes this video. Um, hopefully if you found this helpful, you can hit like and subscribe. Thanks a lot.